Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily stock signals video, and it is for Thursday, the 21st of June. Uh, this is just one of the signals that our members receive every day on stocks on the Wave 5 Trade Scanners membership in the membership area. We can see down the right here they get potential long fifth wave trades, short fifth wave trades, stochastic long trades, stochastic short trades. These are on multiple time frames. So, for example, on the long fifth wave trades, we can see each day there are <coughs> downloadable spreadsheets. So, our members simply click on the day, click on the image, and download the spreadsheet. Let's have a look at what the spreadsheet looks like for today for long trades. So, on the long trades, we have weekly time frame potential longs, fifth wave, uh, daily, and 60 minute. I'm looking at the daily today. Quite a few trades setting up on this at the moment. So I've, I've, there's a few that has entered recently, and there's another one I want to look at today. SHO Sunstone Hotel Investments Inc. So this is real estate um, company. The main thing is it's setting up really, really well for a fifth wave move, and the fifth wave is the highest probability move in a trend. So let's have a look at the chart and set this up. So first of all, this is the Wave 5 Trade Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from the Ninja Trader platform. It's also available for Think or Swim, TradeStation, and MultiCharts. For those traders that have already got this uh, platform, I've chosen these lows down here, <coughs> round about the this, the um, third. Uh, there we go. Yeah, third of the first and the first of the March and like that. And then we've got the ABC correction, and then our Elliott Wave indicator suite automatically labels the one, two, the three, and the four. And this is what we're interested in. The, the basic filters for our signal service are these three filters. The wave for us pulled back and found support in our probability zones. Now it's found support in our red zone, so that's got a 75% probability. It's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here around about $18. The second filter is that the wave four has behaved well in that the 535 oscillator down here in the green and red has pulled back on the wave four between 90 and 140%. Also, the stochastic has pulled back against our false breakout dots, these yellow dots in the stochastic here. These dots denote a really strong bullish move and the stock assets pulled back against there, it's crossed over, and in all likelihood it wants to return to that main bullish trend. So those are the main three filters and the starting point. Then we just have to set up a simple entry strategy. Now, one of the entry strategies we have, which is the basic one, we have the 6-4 moving average high, which is a green moving average here. We need to be outside of that moving average for our entry. This one is quite simple in that we had a really great day yesterday, so we want to be above the high of yesterday, which was 1691, and also outside of the 6-4 moving average for today's bar position, which this will be. So the long entry for SHO on the daily time frame is 1693. Stop loss is just below the wave 4 down here, and that is around about 1626. And then the target's $18. So as you can see there, we've got a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 for this swing trade. And usually you would see something like this take between 9 and 20 days uh, to get to target. Depends on the momentum and the markets, really. Uh, it can be quicker. Uh, and when the volatility is a little bit, uh, as it's been recently, it can take a little bit more time. But that's the basic setup. Very simple. Looking for those wave 4 pullbacks and trading that fifth wave. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.